All right, let's go on and start with the Reaper Leviathan since he's just right here. Okay, never mind. He wants to face to the ground. Okay. Make him large. Make him big. Make him big and large. I can't even see the back of his body. He's probably freaking tearing up a biome with the back of his tail. But that's how big he is. That's how big and long he is right now. Pause. I'm big and long with the free. Okay, so if I make him too big, he starts sticking up out the water because we can see he's like stuck right now. Oh my gosh. That's the stuff of nightmares right there. All right, well, this is our supersized Reaper Leviathan. Uh, I don't know if you, I don't know what you would do, honestly, if you ever saw this in your actual actual Subnautica game, I'd probably just start praying or something, because, uh, yeah, you know? All this Reaper has to do literally is spin around one time, and his entire tail will slap the entire map. That's how freaking big he is. Press Q, all right, now he's regular size. All right, so that was the Reaper Leviathan super size. Let's see what the reef back looks like, since he's right here. All right, now we have a super size reef back Leviathan. The creatures are too big. They keep disappearing on me. All right, maybe I just need to stay in the survival thingy. His freaking, his organs stretch, his organs are literally stretching throughout the entire grassy plateaus biome that is diabolical i want to go out the water and see what he looks like up there because i want to see the little blue part of his body but i feel like if i move too far he's going to disappear like it always does let me try it hey the aurora just blew up nobody really cares right now we're looking at something way more interesting oh my gosh you know i like to think that this is how um like the smaller oh this is his backside i wonder how far his tendrils are stretching out over there let me see all the way through the aurora all right all right well that was a giant reef back that we just saw very very interesting indeed he stretched over the entire grassy plateaus biome, reached over into the dang crash zone, and I think it, the part of his head was like in the kelp forest, so dude was freaking, dude was expansive, I could tell you that much. An expansive leviathan he was. Ah yes, the bloop has grown in strength. I can't even see it anymore. Fudge, bro, I keep messing it up. Might, yeah, we might need to turn the clock on. Look at this dude here. He can't even fit. He can't even fit in the regular water anymore. That's how big, the only thing he could do is fit his mouth down in here. He could probably swallow all these reapers right now if he wanted to. Why are there so many reapers actually? Eat those reapers, man. I know you're hungry. Look at the inside of his mouth. Ugh, Ugh that's all moving and, and crap. That's nasty. Looking very large. Even this one, I didn't even make this one that big and even he can't fit in the water all the way. That is crazy. He's too freaking fat and wide. But uh, yeah, this is our supersized blue Leviathan. I'm not sure why he's like spinning in circles, dancing and, and such, but you know. Oh, his fins look super cool now. Look at that. All right, let's do the Ghost Leviathan next, and then the Sea Dragon, and then I think we can move on to the vehicles. Unless I do, like, a, a giant size peeper or something. Ghost Leviathan. The good thing about the Ghost Leviathan right here is him... Because he's so big and we're in the void, you know, there's nothing for him to bump into really out here. So we can just make him as big as you want. Oh, you know what? You know what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's large. Look, this could actually be canon. Okay, now nah, he's gone. That, that, that's that's not a part of the canon event. Um. Oh yeah, look how big he is now. That's crazy. Look, this could actually be like canon. In a, in a way, like this could actually be a part of the game because apparently, I think in the lore, the ghost leviathans don't stop growing. Like even when they come out into the void, they just keep continuously growing and growing and growing. But it would have been awesome if they would have entertained that idea by adding, um, like the further you go out into the void, the larger the ghost leviathans get. So the further you get all the way out there, the ghost leviathans would steadily increase in size over and over and over again until you just got swallowed whole by like a giant super sized one like we're looking at right now because it fits within the lore and also would have made for one terrifying creature and he's gone again but, but uh yeah this is our colossal sized ghost leviathan it looks like the size of a freaking maybe not Bro, oh my gosh don't do that that was nasty it's like he it's like he rears his entire body back into the darkness before sending it back out at me at like 50 miles per hour that's the ghost leviathan let's go look at the sea dragon actually first let me shrink him see how how tiny of a sea dragon we can get look at him look at him look at him look at him running away we gotta look we got ourselves a baby sea dragon dang you fast ain't you i'm like he is so man if he's still sound like he regular size what is that yo i need you to slow down my guy because i need to make you regular size again hold on i'm pressing q this may have been a mistake this might have been a mistake now i got a sea dragon i don't know where the freak he is there he is there he is what where is he at is that him right there moving super fast that is him look at him look at him dipping away oh sea dragon sea dragon just thank you normal size gosh all right this is about as big as i'm gonna be able to make him i think before he disappears on me oh my gosh look at his mouth his mouth is ginormous i want to see him shoot a fireball like this low key that'd be kind of cool there he go again just like the reaper and he's spinning his tail around he's destroying ecosystems with that thing he's still doing it he don't care okay to the fog see what he looks like why is he spinning around like i'm about to select him in the dang character selection menu what the freak oh my gosh look at that look at that i could build a base on his freaking back that's how big he is right now 
Okay, you did not have to open your mouth while I was right here, though. Dang, that was that was unnecessary and uncalled for. Oh, okay, wait. Before we move on to the vehicles, I want to do a crab squid. We can do a uh, we can make a giant crab squid. I want to see what that looks like. It's so crazy now that I've seen all these creatures like in their freaking giga sizes or ginormous sizes. Now they look small whenever they're back at normal size to me now that's that's funny that is uh that's otherwise super disturbing watching him walk around on the ground like that that was nasty is he gonna do it again okay maybe too big he might be getting too big now i like to imagine that this is what ants see what is he doing what the what is he doing i like to imagine that this is how ants and other creatures like view other creatures what like ants any any insects that are like super super tiny i, I like to imagine this is how they view us Whenever they see us walking around or they see us driving like big trucks and stuff, ask them, they see these just monstrous sized entities and creatures walking around, vehicles, and they're just like, oh my gosh, look at that. And yet they somehow still carry on like nothing's happening. If we were that tiny, we'd be freaking out. I don't know what's wrong with this crab squid though. He's like doing the Macarena dance and all types of every which way. Yeah, there you go again. All right, we're done. We're done here, crab squid. You're doing the most. This is a better creature to make giant. All right, giant jelly ray. Let's see what this looks like. Yo, Reaper Leviathan, you've already had your turn, bro. Goodbye, goodbye, out of existence, dang. So we now have ourselves a giant jelly ray or a jelly ray leviathan whichever you want to call it this freaking reaper look at that reaper right there look at him bro look at him going speedy gonzalez after i shrunk him jelly ray looks super pretty super pretty at nighttime pure beauty on the ghost mode right here no back back up all right jelly ray we've seen enough of you big big we now have a giant sized large room let's turn the fog off so we can see it fully i probably should have put the windows in on the side before i did this but it's okay big old large room we are still going to enter through the hatch right here so let's do that oh my gosh it looks it's absolutely it looks absolutely nuts in here i feel like a dang roach running around look at how tiny i am in comparison to everything around me and you got the reef backs out there just floating around we can see though the water filtration machines are i can't even reach the top of it to get the water out that's that's funny our giant water filtration machines over there we have our nuclear reactor right here attempting to power something all right we are now inside of the alien containment it's super sized there's there's some fish in here i didn't even put any fish in here but you know i guess they found their way in here i'm like 90 this is exactly what the fish see whenever they're in here this is their exact pov they're over here swimming around i'm over here walking around doing stuff in my base and they're just stuck in here swimming around we now have our giant incredibly large pond suit the freaking robot from origins on black ops 2 y'all ever play black ops 2 that's exactly what i'm thinking of right now the wah, especially with the arms the arms look exactly the same i think i think they have the same arms let's see if i can actually get in and pilot this thing around i highly doubt i'm gonna be able to move it around but you know we'll see we're able to move a little bit you know it's something i can't see what's underneath me but it is able to move i'm moving a little bit you know i'm moving kind of slowly and as they say slow motion is better than no motion all right we now have our seal submarine right here all right i think that's enough i think that's enough the seal submarine is a little too oh my goodness i turn the fog off because we need to be able to see the inside all right so here we are now in the engine room of our giant steel submarine i think it's i think it's broken to be honest i think the in the main area of the steel submarine have all these thingies okay nope the submarine's going over hold on hold on hold on let me let me get out of ghost seems like i was the only thing keeping the submarine afloat oh my gosh can i pilot it like this i didn't even think of that hold on let me get to the let me get to the dock i mean the dock what let me get to the uh well this is our giant steel submarine i can't really uh can't really get to the seat because you know i'm too short but there it is looks like it's stuck on something given its size i'm not surprised it's stuck bro what if i'm i'm gonna make the seals i'm gonna make the uh the beluga submarine i'm gonna put it right next to it actually let's do that all right so we have our massive seal submarine over there look how big it is oh my gosh look at the engine so we have our massive seal submarine right here and now we're gonna grow the beluga submarine right next to it and see how big this thing can get all right well we got the colossal titans essentially of subnautica right here and that's kind of funny where even is the beluga sticking out over okay so there's the hatch i need to get into the bottom Dang, that scared me a little bit let's get inside what the what in, what in baby joe's locker it appears i've glitched the game so much that i've made it into third person somehow I, i'm not i don't know what's going on bro this this test i mean we're in the we're in the beluga you know that's that's something massive size beluga although we can't let me turn the fog up maybe i can't i can't see because this freaking water is all over the place can i can i glitch up there and turn the engine on well i guess if you want to find a way to get in third person for subnautica oh you can just run up here like this okay hold on bet we might be able to turn the engine on now okay the engine's on let's go to the back of the submarine this is disgusting bro why am i looking at my character's headless body we've got our giant engine back here working overtime for this giant submarine yo leaf back what you doing to my submarine bro look at my character right here 
And I was he swimming without me. Yo, somebody explain this. Look at that's me. That is my character. I'm not like Bro, that is my character. I don't know why he's swimming without me though. You know, I'm not understanding what's going there you go. There you go. He said it's time to get up out of here. Can I have control over my character? Now I'm in third person swimming. We're gonna be in third person for the rest of the video. This is insane. I didn't even get to see the abyss supersized really, but you know what? We'll we'll just we'll just leave it at that. What the fuck? Okay. Um we gonna call it at this because I think we're doing too much now because I don't know what I'm looking at right now I'm looking at the Aurora pretty pretty fun neat little test honestly in my opinion I kind of had fun with this but you know I don't know what's going on with my screen right now though now I, I, this this ain't this ain't so fun so I don't know what I'm looking at right now oh there's a seal right there the seal submarine I can see the beluga anyways that's about all I have for y'all thank y'all for watching I hope y'all enjoyed if you want me to do something crazy or wacky like this again just let me know and yeah other than that I'll see y'all in the next one peace